Hello YouTube! A few videos ago we looked at the hidden gem that is Stigurzy Castle. But this week I would like to focus on another impressive find that we touched on before, in this otherwise unobtrusive village, St Andrew's Church. It is easy for us in this country to become so spoiled by having such a rich array of historic buildings that we begin to take them for granted. It's hard to drive 10 minutes into the Somerset countryside without passing through a quaint village with a small local store, a village pub and a modest little church. But that's exactly why I wanted to take the next five minutes to stop and appreciate the history, the architecture and just some of the stories this village church has to offer and I hope that the next time you are passing you might get out the car and take a few minutes to see what stories your local church has to tell you. Dating back to the 12th century, the Church of St Andrew was at the centre of a monastic priory of Benedictine monks that was established by William de Falaise around 1086. After he was granted lordship over the Stigurzy, which was then known as Stoke. The large stone church was part of the Norman strategy to demonstrate their authority in the church as well as replacing Anglo-Saxon priests with Norman abbots that were loyal to the crown. The monks had come from the Abbey of Lonley in Normandy and lived a simple, hard-working life. Like many of the Somerset families, their days would have been consumed by ploughing the fields, planting crops and chopping wood in order to survive, but they also had the additional monastical duties such as praying, chanting and scribing that they were also expected to do. Before I continue, I would like to take a moment to tell you about our new Patreon page and our recently launched website. Patreon is a place where you can support this channel by subscribing a small amount in return for early access to our latest videos, exclusive deals and merchandise and the opportunity to interact with the content creators directly. I would love to hear from you, and as always, I will continue to read and respond to your posts, so please do not pay beyond your means. We have also launched a brand new website, where you can find all of our pictures and videos, purchase a print from the online store, and have your say in the forum area. This is all just the start of an exciting journey for us as we make the transition into producing merchandise in the not too distant future. To celebrate the launch of our new site, I'm giving the first 50 people who purchase photo prints from the store an opportunity to buy one get one free by entering the promotional code 2 for one photo prints upon checkout. All the links are in the description below. Around 1175, the church was extended by the monks to its current footprint and has given the Stigurzy Church not only the title of the largest church in West Somerset, but also one of the finest examples of Norman architecture within the Somerset area. The tower you see today is the only part of the building dating back to the original 12th century church. During the 13th century, there was a sanctuary ring installed on the ground floor of the south arch of the church, where medieval criminals could come and take refuge for up to 40 days before having to admit their crime or stand trial. The sanctuary ring at St Andrews was installed after a murderer was granted sanctuary and then fled before he could be trialled, meaning the priory was liable for his fine. By 1440 or thereabouts, the priory had been dissolved and from 1453 the vicars of the church were appointed by Eton College in London. Somewhere around the 1500s, the church nave was rebuilt and the north porch added. The choir aisles were also reconstructed, with the north aisle being extended to the east to provide a vestry. The church today holds six bells in total, with the oldest dating back to 1611. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell to be informed about our next videos.